Welcome to Out of Bounds Golf, where we explore everything inside and outside of the white stakes. Course vlogs, match plays, scrambles, best balls, as well as the occasional tech review, unboxing video, really whatever you want. You tell us, we make it happen. Out of Bounds, we're stoked to produce some great content. We're here, episode Seven, eight, nine, ten, eight, 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 Pagoda Ridge, the back nine. If you haven't already checked it, please go check out Hugh's back nine. He did extremely well. But I don't want to give you any spoilers, so go check it out quickly. In the meantime, here I am, trying to play a solid round of bogey golf. Oh, yes. Now, as you can tell, unfortunately, it wasn't perfect bogey golf on the back nine. I mean, sorry, the front nine, because I ended up with plus six. We were hoping for a plus nine. Hmm, obviously not. But here we go. Felt a little bit crazy. I was thinking, I'm going to draw this ball 300 yards off the tee. Didn't quite do it, but it is the hardest hole on the back nine. Handicap two, so it's looking, I mean, as long as the ball's in play, which thankfully there's nothing on the right-hand side, so we're ecstatic. We're hitting balls, we're hitting two irons. The, the five wood, guys, I just got a five wood, and I recently learned I can hit it about 240, so that would have really been the right call, a good bounce, maybe lucky. But honestly, 88 out with a sand wedge. Can't ask for much more than that. The downhill lie forcing you to aim a little bit left. I was expecting to get kind of a, a right launch just because the ball is below my feet. But ecstatic to be on the green. Putting for par. A two putt. Let's get this bogey golf going. Let's get the bogey golf rolling. Oh, no. I thought. That's a dub. It is. Okay, well, time to get a par, hopefully. 160 out, handicap 14. I'd like to say I should par this. Chunky, fat, fade, my favorite. Nice little kick, but she's not in the hazard. Actually sitting up pin high, so the club choice is perfect. Confidence booster right there. Hitting a lot of sand wedges, but no release. Where's the release? For par, on pace for bogey golf. Oh, it's okay. We're surviving. We're still playing. We're not here to get low scores. We're here to hit golf balls. And if you hit a lot of golf balls, how can that be a bad day, right? 286. Drivable par four. Hoping for a little uh, soft swing fade. You tell me what happens, right? If I want the fade, I produce the draw. If I want the draw, I produce the fade. I'm quite the magician. I just don't know what trick I'm about to perform. All right, Sandy, 60 degrees. Nice little half swing. Ball in the front. Couldn't quite tell you, but I was happy. I felt like. You know, give yourself a chance at par, I guess, because I do need to go a par because we're at double bogey, bogey. Let's get a par right now. Two putt for it. Stroke. I'm happy. There's no way you missed that. Okay. We're on pace. Bogey golf. Par five. Handicap 10. Draw, guys. Here we go. Somewhat Here we go. challenging, but very long. Bunkers on the right. Bunkers on the left, but it's open on the right. And honestly, if you don't have to deal with the lip in the bunker, which, as you can see, I had to do, you should be fine. But I was a little bit scared. Kind of closed my eyes and uh, got her in play, is what you should be telling yourself. The two hybrid is no longer in the bag, it's been replaced by the five wood. So next time, we're going five wood off of that lie. But in the meantime, 140 out, eight iron. Hit the 8 down about 144. Ball slightly below the feet, so I'm just expecting that fade. And look at her go. At this point, I was really telling myself, if I miss this green and I don't hit it 144, I have no idea what my distance is today. But thank the Lord, pin high. We're putting for par. On route for bogey. Golf. Oh no, that looks like a challenge. It is a challenge. Okay, but, you know, you give yourself that one, maybe. 
I don't know if I should have, but I did. Plus 10, what you gonna do about it? 173 out, handicap 8, beauty 6 iron. Hit it very pure. Skipped, and it did. Ecstatic. Hands in the air. Boom, I yay, Rudy. Let's go. Putt for birdie. Uncharacteristic for the round. Do I deserve it? Do I want it? Uh, yes, I do. Okay. So I guess it was a double, technically, if we're being honest, in the last one, even though it says plus 10, should be plus 11. But then here we are, parring it, so we're back to bogey golf. Constant bogey golf, that's what we want. Unfortunately, forgot to turn on the GoPro on the tee box, smacked her in the dead center of the fairway, but that's my luck, right? Subconsciously telling myself, who am I performing for? Nobody. And I pull out the long stick, smack her right down the center. Another great two iron shot, though. So, no complaints there. 71 out. Sandy. And honestly, it finally rolled. It was the first ball that didn't just stop on the green and check. Had a little bit of a, I guess, no spin. But here we are. One bird. Give me one bird. Nope. The ornithologists protest. They have taken away all the birdies and all the eagles from the course. And it's just me. So now, par, I guess. Here we go, guys. Maybe the best drive I've been hitting all month. Oh. Wow, really? That's Such a smooth that. swing. That's the key. Smooth swing. Don't look up. I'm always I'm like I've changed my style. I'm kind of looking at the top of the trees when I'm launching, picking my launch angle. Don't do it. Just look at where you want to land it. Everything else will sort itself out. Five iron, 200 out. Should have been hitting the two iron because I was a little bit shaping it a little bit better. I think it was the first five iron of the day. But a bunker, not in it. But I have it, you know, in the center. So I'm thinking sandy. At least I've hit it a lot today. It's a tough place to be because you don't want to be in the bunker. Nothing will make you feel worse. But, you know, I could have been really negative on myself with that shot, but I stayed positive. I thought, let's just try and get up and down, right? Up and down, anything is possible. Good strike. Come on, baby. Hit it. Boom! Yes! In the, the hole. Camera, baby! Really, really <laughs> pleased. <laughs> Spoiler alert. Oh. We played Langara, Hugh and I, a couple days ago, and maybe Hugh has a chip in for you. Who knows? Stay tuned. All right, 17. Two holes to go. Unfortunately, that was a par, so we're one under our bogey golf round. We're playing pretty well. Hmm. Didn't really know what was over there. Obviously, this was the first time Hugh and I had ever played the course. If you're not aware of that, and you think we play here all the time, thanks, but we don't. Two iron. Nice, solid, grass before ball produces a, a nice little interesting pattern. Oh, I don't really know what to tell shot. you. <laughs> the snake, the meandering snake. Right at least I got a little kick out to the rough. I was feeling good. I said, no worries, right? No worries. Best two iron of the day. If you have a problem and you have the solution, why be angry? If you have a problem and you don't have a solution, why be angry, right guys? Excuse my language, a blade. I was really excited with the two iron thinking I might just chip this in because I did on the last one, but no, bladed into the bunker. Decent bunker shot. But I'll tell you, if I say decent bunker shot, you know next time I'm in a bunker, that's not going to be so good. Hey. Oh! Hey. We're back on There's a small the right route. We're on the path bad. of bogey golf. The path Rudy likes to travel. Chunky, two iron, love it, dead straight. Hey, but well, you're uh... That's right. Just a nice little wedge. Should have probably taken the 52. 
I don't know why I'm doing the 54 or the 56. But, honestly, I think the bag's just really far behind me. What am I saying? The GoPro's <laughs> on the bag. So clearly I had the bag with me the whole time. No excuses. Should have taken a different club. But we're putting. Look at this break. I believe this used to be hole 17 or something along those lines. They just recreated this peninsula. It's beautiful. There's a massive drop off at the end. We go to Ridge, about 45 minutes to an hour outside of Vancouver, depending on traffic. We highly suggest it. Stay tuned for next week. We got more golf coming your way.